Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about bleeding as a concept and how I think it could be added to Vigor to increase the relevancy of a few underutilized weapons. It's pretty straightforward of an idea, so I don't think this will take long to explain, but I'd also like to see what the rest of the community thinks about this idea. So to start, I should probably define how bleeding should work. I think the easiest and most balanced way to implement it would be essentially copying the damage model for the quote unquote hypothermia as an example. Vigor seems to have been playing around with status effects recently with the addition of the flashbang and the monkey, and this status effect indicator could easily be adapted for bleeds. Maybe a 20 to 30 second duration where your character loses health at about the same tick rate as an antibiotic, so that way if you take one, you can effectively cancel it out. Other than that, I'd say of course bandages should stop them instantly. I want to say that I don't think bleeding should happen every time you get shot. That would be a bit excessive. Instead, I think it should remain focused on weapons that deal damage through a uh, more violent means. What I mean by this is just the knives and the crossbow. And when you think about it, it'd be a pretty strong way to buff these weapons that are essentially irrelevant without making them too strong. Looking back a few updates ago, the crossbow received a pretty drastic increase to reload speed, and it helped a bit, but it's still hardly ever used in encounters and requires a lot of skill to use. For the last several seasons, a lot of the community has been asking for a velocity increase on its bolt, but seeing as they gave it better reload speed with no change to it, the devs seem hesitant to do that for some reason. My point with this is that bleeds with the crossbow may make it strong enough to stand up against other competitive guns, and it's a unique alternative to buffing its bolt velocity. As for melee, bro, don't even get me started. It's literally so terrible, and I, I know with this they've said on several dev streams in the past that overhauling melee isn't really on their list of priorities. And as much as it pains me to accept it, I doubt we'll be seeing any serious melee overhauls in the game within the next year. So once again, bleeding would act as a somewhat middle ground compromise where the community gets at least a marginal buff to make the knives a bit more relevant and balanced. Now, that being said, it's still not exactly top of the priorities list, as pistols and 45 ACP changes are much higher in terms of changes in my book. So, to summarize, I think that both the crossbow and melee should give a bleeding status effect. It would make all of them more balanced without needing to do any serious work, and who knows, it might prove valuable enough that they might become frequently used or paired with other guns, mixing up the gameplay loop for the better. So that's pretty much it for bleeding. I think I've covered most of the important things I wanted to talk about, but if you guys have any more suggestions or opinions, be sure to comment down below to give your thoughts. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.